Hey everyone, hopefully you are enjoying the opacity change going behind larger objects and hopefully you change, were able to adjust the push settings and also adjust that hitbox so it's not all blinking. Today we're going to talk about tile sets. We're going to talk about animating the tile sets. We're going to create a, a fountain that's animating and just the base of a waterfall that's animating. So. Uh, first things let's do, let's go to the scene, let's go to the tile portion of the starting map, and let's just get these on the map and just look at them. Let's see, let's go to the players, yeah, we'll do this on the player layer, and we'll just put down a waterfall, and then we will grab this fountain and, and put down the fountain. And we'll click play, we'll just notice that they're just standing alone, just doing their own thing. So we want to make them animate because they've given us in this tile set multiple animations. So let's go back to the tiles. And I've showed you this tab before when I was saying this is where it would be. And so now let's talk about how to navigate through this. So let's do the the waterfall first. All right. So the the waterfall are these three frames, then these are the next three, then these are the next three. So we're going to grab all these three frames, and that is going to be the base. This is the base of the animation right here. And so this is going to count as one whole animation. We're then going to say we want another frame. And in order to change, it, it, all it's going to do is duplicate the frame that you have. So in order to change it, you have to double click into it and you'll get this window that pops up. And from here you just click the next animation and it will it'll automatically, you can't resize it or anything, it'll automatically be looking for three tiles, three vertical tiles, and so you'll click that one, you'll hit OK. And then we want to add another one, it's going to duplicate, and then you're going to click on the next one, and you're going to hit OK. And now you can preview it in here, you can preview it, and it's really fast actually so let's change this let's do point three and let's change that and that to point three and now let's click loop back and now let's click play and it looks really slow I don't know exactly why it's slower in the preview but when we hit play you'll see that it's not that slow as you can see, it's actually pretty decent speed. You could, we could probably make it a little faster. So let's go to point two. So yeah, I don't know why the the preview screen is slow. I'm not sure if that's been brought up yet or not even. So yeah, you can see it's a lot faster. That looks better actually. So point two is a good speed for the waterfall. And that's that's that for setting up an animation. That's, we set up a, a waterfall. So now let's set up this fountain. Let's grab all of these. This is going to represent the animation. And we're going to add an animation to it. We're going to double click it. And we are going to select the next frames in the animation. You can see it's already trying to give us a preview. Then we're going to click it again. Double click and choose the last one, hit OK. And now it's cycling through pretty good, but it's a little fast, so let's go to point two, I think is what we got on the waterfall. Oh, that's interesting that it slowed down again. I wonder, hmm, who knows. All right, so now we'll hit play, and you can see that the fountain is now giving a nice, flowing animation. So that's how we're going to set up the tiles. As you can see, we haven't given any priorities or anything to it. So that is how you set them up. And if we want to be able to walk behind this, we would probably have to set these three up as their own animation. Oh, it looks like it is already set up. So you can actually dissect these however you need them. So let's try that. I actually, this is going to be new for me. Let's try that. Let's right click and let's get rid of that, 
the upper portion and now let's click on the above layer and let's click that into place and now let's hit play okay yeah everything looks in sync and now you're walking behind the fountain and yet you and you'd still be in front so that's that works out really good actually so that's how you could do a behind the waterfall effect or uh, just something cool so yep that's how you set up animations and yeah we'll leave it at that